everybody. So, outside of chemistry, I can say I'm no expert on anything, but I like to explore things and I keep coming across stuff and I just want to share it with you. So, Tinkercad, we've been playing with that and I came across this new tool in Tinkercad. Well, it was new to me. Actually, it's right in the screen and it only occurred to me uh, recently. So I decided to use it and try this. Okay, I've got a Tinkercad workspace open and on it I've got a Bauhaus chess set. Luke showed you how to draw this in one of his videos, although there are lots of versions available on Thingiverse if you want to grab one of these. And these are all individual pieces, so let's group them together. And group. They'll flash red, and then when they're done, they all go the same colour. That's really cool. But what I want you to notice, and what I didn't notice, was this hole. Here we've got solid, and you can see it's the same colour as that, and the same colour as that. And if we click hole, all of those become a hole. Now, this is true for any complex shape. It's a great way of making keyways, it's a great way of doing all kinds of things, but that is basically a whole set of holes. So if we put a box on that, drag that box to cover the whole space, make sure it's high enough, okay, and now we group that again, there you go, once it's finished, And if we spin that round, can you see that? What we've got here is a mould. It just automatically created a chess set mould. Now, of course, it's a Bauhaus set, so they all drop out because there's no overhangs, but we've got a void in here that we can pour anything in and knock out a chess set. <laughs> so that whole tool, you have to stop and think about for a second, because any object in STL that you can import into Tinkercad, however complicated, can be turned into a hole. Surround it by a box or a layer, merge it, and you get yourself a mould. That mould can either be 3D printed, or of course you could send it off to a company that will accept those kind of files, or convert it to a file they want, and they'll make the mould for you. And when Luke was doing his chess sets, people were saying, oh, you really don't want to be doing that, you want to be getting a mould. But <laughs> Molds are expensive, unless you're doing over a thousand, and even more expensive if you're doing at one thousand to ten thousand, over a hundred thousand, they're really cheap. But who wants a hundred thousand chess sets? So one or two of them, or up to ten maybe, that's quite a difficult mould area to get a mould in. And suddenly we can 3D print the mould, we could have um, somebody make that mould for us. And if you think about it for a second, there's a whole load of things you can do with that. I mean, we did the chess set. I mean, just on a fun thing, you could cast pieces in chocolate, both dark and white, and play chess in chocolate and eat the pieces when you win them. You could make your own Easter eggs. You could make your own decorations. You could actually make things in resin and sell them. Well, you're not going to sell 100,000. Maybe you're going to sell, I don't know, 50 or so, in which case you could make your mould. Of course, all moulding requires thinking about things like overhangs, but suddenly that whole tool allows you to make moulds of all kinds of things. So when I looked at that I thought, yeah that does take a bit of thinking about it. If you let your imagination fly with that, however complicated that shape is going to be, you're going to be able to get a mould of it. And I thought that was well worth sharing. So have a think about it, see what you can come up with. I'll bet it will knock your socks off when you spend a few seconds thinking about it. I hope you enjoyed the idea. Thank you very much for watching the video and please do remember to uh, like, subscribe and click the bell notification.